There's been a long-held belief that whenever you're working with epoxy, you're, you're pretty much limited to having to use paint for your top coats because supposedly gel coat just won't bond with epoxy. Uh, it's what I was taught by all the old timers, you know, go <laughs> way back when. And it's, it's the same information that I've relayed to you guys, you know, here through these videos. Um, now, truth be told, I, you know, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm guilty. I've done it on small areas, and I, I've never gotten stung by it. It's always worked. So I thought, let's, let's do some testing here. I, I, you know, I did a lot of digging around on the internet, and there's a lot of conflicting information. You know, one side is saying, absolutely not. It's taboo. You can't do it. And there are other people out there saying that, yeah, as long as you do it properly, you do your prep work properly, uh, there's no problem. So let's break this down. What we're really talking about here is bonding. I mean, it's the ability of one material to stick to another, and that's something that generally happens one of two ways. It's either a chemical bond or it's a mechanical bond. Chemical bonds are pretty much exactly what they sound like. It's when all the materials that you're using th for the repair are of the same base, you know, whether it's polyester-based or epoxy-based. They're all of the same base, and they love each other. They're like a big, happy family. <laughs> Mechanical bonds are a little bit different. Uh, that's, uh, that's the type of bond that you get when you're working with a cured surface and you sanded it down you've, with a coarse grit paper. You've introduced some, some scratches. You've scuffed the surface, uh, creating a tooth, uh, more or less, for that next layer of material to kind of grab onto and to help it stay put. Now, for this test, we're going to be focusing on mechanical bonds because ultimately, when you're doing a repair on your boat, that's the type of bond that you're relying on for everything to stay put. Uh, there is no more laminating. You know, your hull, all that glass, your gel coat, that's already cured. There's no, it's no longer a laminating type surface. It's cured. That window is closed, gone, left the building. Um, what, you're, what you have to rely on is that having the surface cleaned and prepped and scuffed enough, sanded down, creating that tooth for all your material to, to bond with. Now, we're going to be doing three different types of tests here. First is going to be what I call kind of a fine edge bonding. You know, it's, I'm going to take some gel coat, I'm going to lay it down over all the different types of, of uh, resins, and we're going to sand it down. We're going to sand that gel coat just like you would be doing as if you were finishing off a gel coat repair. And what I'm going to be looking for there is how well the gel coat will come down to a fine point. You know, will, is it going to actually sand down to a nice feathered surface? Or is that fine tip just going to slowly kind of continue to chip back? So that's, that's the one thing I'm going to be looking for there. The next test is a flexing test. And that's exactly what it sounds like. I'm going to be taking some gel coat and again, putting it over all the three different resins or three hardeners. And then I'm going to be flexing the piece. I just want to see if there's going to be any, any lifting, uh, any cracking, you know, so on and so forth. The third test is going to be the one that I'm going to be most interested in. And that's uh, something I'm going to be calling tug of war. And uh, what I'm going to be doing for that is I'm going to be taking two, two different panels, which I have laid out here, two different panels. One of them is going to be polyester based. The other one's going to be epoxy based. I'm going to stick them together using gel coat as, as that bonding medium. After everything is cured, I'm just I'm going to rip them apart. So when I pull them apart, whichever side let go is going to tell me, you know, that's the side that didn't have as good of a bond. So that's going to be pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to that. I have no idea what's going to happen, but it should be cool, right? <laughs> Let's take a quick look at all the panels we're going to be using for this experiment. Now, the glass I'm going to be using on all of this is what's called 1708 biaxial. And if you watch any of my you know, previous repair videos, you know that this is a glass that I use you know, quite a bit. Uh, let's start over here. Uh, I've got six little strips here. Three are going to be laid up with epoxy, and these three are going to be laid up using laminating polyester resin. Now, on these epoxy strips, they're each labeled, so this is going to be put up with the 205 hardener, the 206 hardener, and the 207. These are also the, the, the strips that are going to be used in that tug-of-war experiment. Now, these four sections over here, uh, again, these are all labeled. So we've got polyester, well, 205, 206, and finally, 207. 
These are going to be the panels I'm going to be using for the, the fine edge testing of the gel coat when we're sanding that down. And the last experiment that I, have, that I was going to do was that flexing test, and that is something I'm going to have to wait and hold in to lay up until all this stuff is done because, well, I'm, I'm out of room on here, and I've got to do that after this stuff is done. Now, one of the, the, the downfalls of the testing that I'm going to be doing here is that I don't have the equipment to actually put some numbers to what the shearing strengths are on, on any of these. So I'm going to be duplicating th this experiment on these panels over here, these shorter strips. And then I'm going to be, if I have to, I'm going to be mailing these over to Michigan to the West System headquarters. Or ideally, what I'm hoping to be able to do is to actually drive these uh, pieces down there, have them hook it up to their machines, and be able to video the, their process and what get the results uh, from, from these sections here. But mm, I don't know yet. That's still a little up in the air. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take the time off to, to drive over there. Uh, it's not that far away, but it's far enough. We'll see. So now with all of our sample pieces laid up, I'm going to be hands off from this for a few days just to kind of let everything cure and I've got some other irons in the fire that I need to kind of take care of. So when I see you next time, we'll be laying up our gel coat and then I think we're going to be able to start doing some testing. So that should be kind of exciting. Uh, again, as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you again very soon. This has been a Bootworks Today Protection.